Hello, in this video we're looking at Google Keep again. I just wanted to highlight a couple of features that I missed in my original video. So first off, I've, you can see I've photographed a page from a book there. If I click to open that post, you'll see that one of the options I've got available is grab image text. So similar to what we did in my last video, it's a very easy way to get the text. I could then copy that and add it to my document. Uh, the other thing I could do is just right click and copy to Google Doc and it will take me straight there. So let's just do that. So you're going to copy it to Google Doc. Now it depends on how well it translates the text from the image is, is all to do with how clear the text appears on the page and what type of font it is. Certain fonts work better than others. So we're going to open that document. So it's kept the name of the document the name of my note in, in the title of the doc. It has the original image of the document and the text that it's, that it's taken from it as well. So I can see about a really useful feature, maybe a presentation, you just want to grab some information off a slide or if you find a, an article that's interesting that you want to reference in one of your presentations or one of your handouts. The other thing to, to show you which I didn't last time was if you go to the tools function now you'll find that they've integrated notebook keep there so you can access the notepad and have your notes visible there. It's also possible to take a note from within Google Docs. So there are a couple of extra features that I didn't mention in my first video. I hope you found that useful. If you did, please remember to subscribe to the channel.